I'm in Dublin, Ireland. Ireland, oh my God, this is my first time here. And I was lucky, I caught the last four days of sunshine this year. I stayed at O'Donoghue's, right here on the second floor. I'm gonna walk into my bathroom, listen. I didn't know this. I'm staying in a bar, a uh, hotel above the bar. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I'm in Dublin. Why not? Let's have fun. I seriously had no idea, but I arrived on Arthur's Day. Basically, it's the other St. Patrick's Day. I'll take you to the Guinness Brewery later, but now the night is about to begin. It's an alcoholiday. Pub crawl. In Dublin, Ireland. It's pub crawl. You walk around Dublin drinking a pint at every pub you go to. Go to the next pub now. The Irish, as we know, have a reputation for having a wee bit of sauce. It's strange. They don't let you walk in the street with a drink in your hand. So you can't walk around with a beer in your hand. Very different than Italy and Spain and France. And this is how babies are made. First conversation with an American. Right? Yeah, first conversation. <laughs> now we're going to go on to the next pub. Just keep filling up the tank. And look at this, even the streets help you out. Watch out, because they drive on the wrong side of the road. Left. I don't know about you. There's a few pints going down in this town. And uh, no. I'm guilty, I'm consuming some of them. Warning. Drinking more than eight pints of beer in four hours may cause bloating of the face, neck, and stomach. I am never going to drink again. How did I get here? Well, I was already in Berlin and I just flew to Dublin. Aer Lingus, they're smart. Aer Lingus, they're brilliant. They're cunning Lingus Air. Oh, I'm already tired and I haven't even started. Dear God. That's why you gotta have some lamb stew. It's great for hangovers. Also try the shepherd's pie. Try some creamed peas and some fish and chips. Magically delish. Viking Splash Tours. What these guys did is convert these World War II amphibious vehicles into Dublin sightseeing buses. 
<laughs> it's actually pretty fun. Let's do this. This man is quite a fool. I heard in Dublin say, look at him, he's just a big mope, he's a big dope, that's what he is. Cats on mobile phones and the jaywalking cats who think we have ABS on this bus. <laughs> Little cappuccino cats sitting outside the pants. He <laughs> can't so understand this guy at all. A little bit. That's right, people, just in there. We have a museum which is dedicated to printing. <laughs> <laughs> Trinity Dublin College. You know, Bram Stoker went here. He's the guy that wrote Dracula. See how flat and bald it looks? Well, that's the way they want it. Oh, look at this. It turns into a boat. The tour guide went on to say, hey, it's not English, it's Dublinese. Right here is where you 2 recorded their first three albums. My favorite Irish band recorded here too, Thin Lizzy. And to give you an idea, in the daytime, this is where we partied last night. The music never stops here, from the morning, all day, and into the night. Oh my god, my hair! Dublin streets are alive with music. Okay, I'm completely full of it. Now it's time to let it out. That's how you do a jig in the rain. This is a religious experience. It's time for you to join me. Guinness Brewery. Guinness converted their old brewery into a museum. Seven floors dedicated to the dark brew. This cold room lets you smell the separate ingredients that they use. Guinness Brewery. You have to come and see it. It's great. On these televisions, they show you all the commercials they have used throughout the years. This place is totally interactive. You can participate with all the exhibits. And right there, they take a picture and you can email it to your friends. You have to come here. You get a free pint at the end of the show. Right? Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, you know, after we do have one, I, I might be a little drunk, but he's a little drunk. It's going to pour me a proper Guinness. That's what you can do to Guinness Brewery. The freshest Guinness you'll have in the world, right here in Dublin. 
It's mother's milk. Final floor is the Galaxy Bar, a full 360 degree view of Dublin. Guinness Brewery. You know, Dublin is like Mumford and Sons. A bunch of guys and no chicks. Hello! Ciao, ciao! Ciao, ciao! By the way, I got an Italian here. And he's drinking beer with me here in Dublin, Ireland. Dublin, Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from Roma. From Roma, yeah. And uh, you agree with me, the women are not so, not so good. No, the women are not so good here. Two, three pints of Guinness. Yeah, beautiful. This is the prettiest girl in Dublin. Just look at her squeeze box. Well, here I am on my last night in Dublin. It's raining outside, of course. But I just want to take a little time to talk to you. The viewer. In life, you probably give a lot for your child and go to that special school because you married your cousin. Maybe you uh, give that special ring to your wife on that day that she expects it or wants it. Or maybe you do that one thing for your husband on your birthday that you don't normally do all year long. Well, I want you to do something here, a gift for you. The best gift you can give yourself is the gift of travel. Get your passport see the world, get a different perspective of where you're really at right now. Well, that's it for Dublin. I had a good time. I didn't get as damaged as I thought I did, but I think I got a little more bloated than I should. It's fried food. Fried food and pints of beer that's darker than your boot. Euro trip. Ciao for now. Here's a little flashback. A week ago, I was in Berlin at Museum Island. I don't know if this is right, but this uh, statue is, I guess, sowing his seed. Uh, sowing his seeds a little too much. Something ain't. Uh, he shouldn't be walking around doing it, you know? Oh well. Yeah. It's three in the morning and I'm under this train crossing. And look at this guy at the bottom left. I think he needs another beer. You can drink in public. Two weeks ago, I was visiting friends in Provence. So here I am in the south of France at the Gorge de Verdun. Gorge de Verdun. They're always correcting us, so get used to it in France. <laughs> this is known as the Grand Canyon of Europe. So I'm asking you about right now, why don't you have your passport? Do you have a passport? If you do, you need to come here. If you don't have a passport, you're missing out. It's one, it's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Good luck, my baby. It's wonderful, wonderful, it's wonderful, I think of you. These are my friends Sylvie and Doug. They run this great B&B near here. You know, book a couple nights. Tell them coins sent you. This is France. Well, they will correct your French as quick as Sasha Song. Sasha Song. Say. Sasha Song. Sasha Song. Ah. Voila. Ah. You can't win.
Okay. When I get back, I'm gonna start working out.